how to do incline dumbbell presses superseted with dumbbell incline flies. So let's go ahead and start out our first set here presses. We're just going to be doing 12 reps at a two to two tempo. So coming down one, two, up, one, and contract. One, down, two. Notice I'm coming to a concrete stop. Make sure that your elbows are not coming too far back. Otherwise, the dumbbells are going to fall forward. You're not going to be able to support it. It's got to be directly on top or, or above the elbow. Make sure that you are really contracting. Your elbows do not lock out at the top of that. They're slightly bent, and mentally you are gripping that contraction, squeezing the pectoral muscles together. Now here, coming out, you're feeling them lengthen. Notice you're not bouncing up. It's come to a concrete stop and then up. That's a really important aspect of that. So 12 reps. Now my little dumbbells, I think it, they're, they've rolled away. So that happens sometimes, you know, so you just gotta go chase them down. <laughs> so I'm gonna use five pound dumbbells here. I'm showing you a low dumbbell incline fly. So this is a different variation. Palms are up and you're coming to maximum stretch in the anterior delt and the chest. And then you're coming in. This is a one to three tempo. So you're coming in and one, squeeze, down one, two, three, up in one. One, two, three. So this is focusing on the eccentric, eccentric motion, the lengthening. Mentally, as you lower, you're still mentally picturing those muscle fibers contracting. Now here's a typical fly. If you feel like doing that, or if the other one strains your anterior delts too much, this is still sticking to our one to three tempo in one. Let them slightly fall out. Your elbows are just gently bent, and mentally you're just focusing so much on the chest muscles. So make sure you milk the contraction and this is going to destroy your chest.